All right, in this video, I want to talk about deriving the derivative of arctangent, or the inverse tangent of x. And I think this is a good little procedure, again, just showing how, um, how some of these formulas are really quite easy to derive. Um, this way, again, you know, you're not just memorizing them. In case you forget on a test, you can, you know, you can produce the derivative formula without too much trouble. So um, this is a good little procedure. You can derive, you know, the other inverse trig functions, uh, arc sine, arc cosine, for example, the derivatives of those doing the exact same procedure. Um, a lot of books, this is how they'll justify the, also the derivative of, say, natural logarithm. Um, so this is the basic, the basic procedure. And it's not... It's really uh, not too bad at all. So what we're going to do is uh, we want to. So we're going to start with the function y equals inverse tangent of x. Okay, and again, what we want to find is we would like to know. We want to know what y prime or equivalently dy over dx. We want to figure out what a formula for the derivative. That's what we're trying to. Uh, that's what we're trying to find. So we want to know this thing. Well, okay, if I take the derivative with respect to x of both sides, that would give us give it to us, but again, we don't know what the derivative of arctangent is. So what we do is we, in, uh, we turn it back into something more familiar, and we do that by simply taking tangent of both sides. So we'll take tangent of the left side, and then we'll take tangent of the right side. Okay, so on the left side, well, we're just left with tangent of y. On the right side, since we're applying tangent to inverse tangent, a function and its inverse cancel out. So all we'll be left with on the right side is just x. So all we've done is just uh, just use the relationship between inverse tangent and regular tangent. Okay, well at this point now what I'm going to do, now we'll take the derivative with respect to x of both sides. So I'm going to take the derivative of the left side and we'll take the derivative of the right side as well. And we're taking the derivative now because now, you know, it involves tangent. And we know a derivative formula for tangent. So the derivative for tangent is secant squared of y. But in this case, we're going to have to do implicit differentiation because we're taking the derivative with respect to x of something involving y. So we'll do it like normal, so we'll get secant squared y. But remember, in these cases, you have to tack on dy um, over dx. On the right side, the derivative with respect to x of 1x is just 1. OK, hey, great. Um, again, though, we're trying to figure out the derivative, right? That's what we want to know. We want to know a formula for dy um, over dx. Well, all we have to do in this case, then, is just divide both sides by secant squared. So we'll get dy over dx equals 1 over secant squared of y. OK, now our original formula involved, you know, x's. It was a, our independent variable was x. Now our derivative formula depends on y. And we want to somehow go back to the original variable x. Well, the way that we do it is we just use this fact that tangent of y, we said that's equal to x. So remember your trig identities, uh, hopefully that relates tangent and secant together, at least one of them. Um, so I always have to think about it for a second. So we know that sine squared plus cosine squared, that equals 1. If we divide everything by cosine squared, so by cosine squared, cosine squared, uh, cosine squared, sine over cosine's tangent, but it's being squared. So hey, we would get, well, tangent squared x. Uh, plus 1, and then 1 over cosine, that's going to give a secant, but again, it's being squared. Okay, so that's the identity that relates, relates uh, tangent squared and secant squared. So equivalently, instead of uh, x's, you can just pretend that we have y's here. And now we're in business, because it says secant squared of y, we know that's going to be 1 plus tangent squared y. So our derivative, equivalently, we can write 1 over secant squared as 1 plus tangent squared. And I'm going to write that as tangent of y, all quantity squared. So re recall that this notation is the same for, is the same thing as tangent squared of y. But now all we're going to do is we're just going to replace the fact that tangent of y, that's equal to x. 
And now we've got our derivative. Um, so we would get 1 over 1 plus x squared. And that's the derivative for arctangent of x, the derivative of arctangent. So the derivative of arctangent is the formula, uh, the function, 1 over 1 plus x squared. OK, so a common trick again. Um, so you start with the thing you want to take the derivative of. Just apply, you know, since here it's inverse tangent, we just take tangent on both sides. That basically cancels out uh, the inverse function on the right and leaves you well with, in this case, tangent. And now just take the derivative like normal, remembering to do implicit differentiation. That's where your dy dx appears. Uh, that's where it comes from. Divide by, you know, whatever you don't want, um, in this case, secant squared y. And then, uh, at, at least for these inverse trig derivatives, it just goes back to uh, typically just using some sort of trig identity, uh, like we did here at the last part, to get your formula back in terms of x. So, all right, I hope this makes some sense. Again, just a useful little trick. There's so many formulas to memorize. It's good to, uh, it's good to see, it's good to remember where they come from. Uh, nothing too deep, too mysterious. Um, but again, I think useful little tricks.